totally, totally. You know, so actually that kind of brings me to what I was going to say in BDC sessions, I'm kind of uh, piggybacking on you a little bit, but you know, back in uh, Bitcoin's nascency, there was a real use case around, you know, like a Silk Road type thing. And people stumbled on Bitcoin because, you know, they were wanting to, you know, use something black market-esque, right? Nowadays, most people stumble on Bitcoin because they saw somewhere that it's like a great investment and they see it through the investment lens. And so I just wanted to, to uh, uh, Max, you disappeared. I got to uh, stop mining. I turned my miners on. And it's is that all Justin Trudeau there? Oh, what what, what were they saying? <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> well, so, so, well, Max kind of comes back to life over there. Uh, basically, the, the way that I kind of see this is like the, the funnel that we're talking about really does start with someone believing that they can invest in the Bitcoin and, uh, you know, eventually grow rich because of it. And so when I think about how we cover it, and then, you know, Bitcoin Magazine, we don't cover price basically at all. Uh, but when I think about how you get the top of the funnel to pay attention, it really does end up being price right now. There's just no other way to get an average person walking down the street to care about Bitcoin. And then once they're there, then it's explaining about fiat, explaining about all the issues with the current system that we have, explaining about, you know, why does this thing have so much value? But until people even start paying attention, we really can't like it's it's like a, a invisible force field that's preventing them from even paying attention to what Bitcoin is in the first place. Do you guys disagree with that? Well, it's the Trojan horse, right? Like so like anyone who would tell you that they got into Bitcoin because they thought, you know, they thought the ideologies were cool is, is fucking lying to you like flat out. You know, they got into Bitcoin because they thought the number could go up. Right. And then that the kind of, but, what, but what's go. wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think numbers no, no, go no, no, up no. is so, the, so the best marketing. Exactly. It totally is right. It Trojans, Wait. it Trojan horses people in, but once they're in, then they get kind of exposed to, wait, the money's broken. And then you start to understand what all the consequences of a broken money comes out to the rest of society. Right. So, but, but you only open your eye from my experience, right. You know, I could be wrong here, but from my experience, what I've, what I've noticed in people and what I've noticed in myself is that I only noticed that the money was broken until I was like, number go up technology, orange coin, good. But I was, I got in initially because I was like, okay, I'm going to get rich by this, which I was totally wrong. Cause it takes time with anything. Right. But once I got in, you know, I just opened my eyes. I started lo listening to videos of Max. I started listening to videos of Andreas and I was like, everything's broken the, and the fed and you know, all that crazy stuff. Nico, right? I got a question for you. Yes. Sir. Um, so uh, maybe you can dive a little bit more into how Bitcoin changed you, I guess, as a, as a person, cause like from a, like personally, I was shit at saving. I never saved anything because the the alignment of incentives never pushed me to do so, right? Like I, 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 I guess not explicitly, but I knew in general, if I saved my money, it would be, it would buy me less in the future. Um, I knew that, you know, if I, if I took out a loan, whatever, like it, it's just like the culture shaped around me this like fiat mentality so like did you experience similar things not only did i experience similar things i actually kind of went in depth on this topic uh the other day with with one of my guests and we coined the term bitcoinism right so you have libertarianism you have liberalism you have conservatism and bitcoinism what is bitcoinism so Bitcoinism kind of has some conservative type things, right? Like we like to save, you know, we we're 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 frugal, right? Uh, we like guns, right? But is it conservatism? No, it's not conservatism. It's Bitcoinism, right? So I think that anyone that really started the journey down the rabbit hole, uh, to add to your point, BTC sessions, man, like I think that it changes your philosophy of life. It really does, right? Because before you used to not, like, look, 
try going to a try no i don't know how rated this show is but try going to a a, a gentleman's club and throwing your sats just like that that's going to hurt a lot now try doing that with dollar bills not so bad right but try doing that with satoshis i think you're going to think twice <laughs> 